Friday brought the second night of quarterfinals at Eurobasket in Poland. The crowd were treated to yet more brilliant basketball as Greece and Turkey renewed old rivalries. The prize a place in the final four, but the Greeks also needing the win for another reason as well, to secure their place in next year's World Championship, ironically to be hosted by their opponents in this match here. They started well too, edging ahead in the second quarter and delighting their travelling fans in the process. The Turks, though, had only lost once previously in eight matches in this tournament and ensured that they didn't let their opponents pull away. For Greece, Vasilis Spanoulis top score with 23 points. But again, the Turks were never far away and levelled things up just before the end of the third quarter. By the time the fourth quarter came along, the scores were still seesawing at both ways and it was still anybody's game for the taking. In the end, Arslan forced his way through for a layup to take the tie into overtime. With just the second to go. Once into overtime, Turkey and Greece again went at each other. Turkish fans knew that they needed to make up a slim deficit that had been opened up by Greece. And with just seconds remaining, Arslan couldn't repeat his normal time heroics. Three-pointer not making the basket and cue the celebrations as Greece set up a semi-final showdown with the world champion Spain. Meanwhile, Slovenia were looking to reach the final four of Eurobasket for the very first time in their history. However, they had the tough task of trying to beat Croatia, who'd narrowly won against Germany to qualify for the last eight. The Kratz went ahead early doors. They're in a nine-point lead before Slovenia decided to react at the end of the first quarter. The fans at last feeling that they're in a game. Before the players are on court, decided to turn on the style. Shot from downtown, helping them close the gap. Rokoleni Ukic was starring at the other end for Croatia, though, as they continued to pile on the points despite the Slovenians' renewed resistance. And they had a half-time lead of 47-39. Cue third quarter, though, and cue the Slovenian comeback. They were even ahead before the end of that third quarter. Good three-point lead here as they went into the final quarter and continued to assert their authority. Fans absolutely loving it, and all really thanks to a superb performance of 27 points and eight rebounds from Erezem Lorbeck, a player who's really set this tournament alight. This basket in the dying seconds of the match ensured that Slovenia would take it. Just the two points, the winning margin, 67-65. A fantastic historical night for their fans. They now play Serbia in the semis.
Congratulations on making it to the semi-finals. Give us your thoughts on this game. Well, a very difficult game. We started uh, we started bad uh, without energy, uh, without concentration. But I think the key was second half defense, and uh, we came back and we won the defense with our heart. Uh, even though we miss almost half of the team to the injuries. This is your first time making it to the semi-finals. What's everyone thinking? I mean. No, it's a big step uh, for Slovenian basketball uh, and uh, nothing. Uh, it's one more step in the tournament. Uh, we have uh, two more. Uh, we have two more steps uh, until the end, and uh, hopefully we can make it through. We can uh, find the energy somehow and uh, go on. Obviously, it's always a goal to go as far as you can in a tournament. But did you think making it to the semi-finals and the final was a you know, a goal that you could reach fairly. Yes, yes. Uh, we we had the thought uh, from the beginning of the preparation, and uh, you know, we prepare for each game, uh, uh, and uh, hopefully we go to the end. Okay, and finally, looking ahead to Serbia, what are your thoughts on them? Hey, we already played one time with them, and uh, you know, uh, they are a very good team. And hopefully. Uh, we can uh, we can come back tomorrow and uh, play even harder. Erasem, congratulations! This is history for Slovenia. You are in the semi-finals. Yeah, we are so happy to well not to, to completely reach our goal, but to pass that quarter-final. It was like a bad curse for us. We couldn't pass that quarter-final, but we had a good enough team. Now we really did it. We did it in a great game. We were completely down in the first half, but we managed to come back. It was, I think, one of the best comebacks. You were 15 points down, and yet you had a really strong start in the third quarter. That was amazing. Uh, yeah, it was important to come out of a locker room ready to play, and we completely changed the game. We knew we were, we were better, but we just couldn't, uh, couldn't find the rhythm in the first, in the first uh, 10 minutes in defense. You really carried your team forward. You had an amazing game. You must be thrilled. Well, I'm, I'm so, last play of Turkey, uh, they dribble down the ball, they're done by two. What's going through your head? One thing only, we have hard to play this game. This team, many years now, they play only with a heart. And I believe in the last seconds we had it. So we have to continue to play like this and to give all our effort in the court. In the court. What did you have today that Turkey didn't have? I believe we would like more to win than them. We would like more to win. Okay, now Spain in the semi-finals. What do you think about them? We have to fight for the same uh, motive. We have to fight to give all our effort, to give our best and whatever happens. And when you came here, did you think you're going to go all the way to the semi-finals? Yes, yes, yes. We came for this. Uh, we have the, this like target and we did it. Congratulations for a big win. Thank you, thank you. How did it feel when they came back in the last minute, cut it from six to four to, to all the way? It's okay. It's, uh, we play the game. We play the game. We, we, we try to have the adjustment in the game and in every situation of the game to, to be focused and uh, to have confidence. The, the fact that you won the, the last play, you won it on defense, does it say anything about this team? Uh, yeah, we try to have the same energy defensively and offensively. We know that everything in our game starts from defense. Today we make a big, big game and uh, I'm very proud because we are in the four best teams in Europe. We spoke a lot during the tournament about having a young team and a new coach. Did you think coming here 